Well, you've probably heard the term learning loss. Well, test data from the TEA is indicating school districts all across the state saw student performance drop, and it was pretty big. Our Steve Pickett today with not only the test numbers, but also the action plan to try and fix those numbers. Got 15,000 Fort Worth ISD school children returned to 50 different campuses today, full day summer school, to gain what so many lost reading and math scores on state required academic assessments, better known as the STAR tests, show a steep decline in the passing of those tests. When kids are experiencing, kids and teachers are experiencing significant challenges in their lives outside of school, it has an impact on their ability to learn inside of school. Even Dallas ISD Deputy Superintendent Susanna Cordova points to the year of the pandemic at home learning and inconsistencies in classrooms nationwide. Take a look, for example, at the third grade math test data for North Texas schools. 64% of third graders in Irving ISD failed to meet the state standard. 58% failure in Fort Worth, 55% in Arlington, and 50% in Grand Prairie. School systems like Fort Worth and Dallas are adding days and hours to the upcoming school year, including more intensive summer sessions. Calendar changes, more time in school, tutoring. Um, it's going to take everything we've got. We're going to have an extended school day, uh, after school, high impact tutoring in math and science. A short summer for thousands of kids already back at it. And the traditional school year for Dallas and Fort Worth expected to start in early August as well. All of this to get back what so many kids lost. In Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.